I went to Burger King for breakfast today, and on the way in the door I saw four pennies on the ground. These four pennies reminded me of my father, who died last week. My father was a 92-year-old man who, his entire life, he tried to be as useful and productive as he could. In his later years, when he couldn't drive or couldn't do other uh, occupational jobs because of his disability with walking, he would sit in our office at our farm and help us install and make drip water kits. He would make targets for children to shoot at with their, their BB guns and rifles. He would also make bird boxes for people so that they could enjoy birds in their backyard. But he did this because he was a product of the Depression. During the Depression when he grew up, he was very, very poor. And any time he would find something of value, he would bring it home. And he did this throughout his life. My father would, would be very upset if I was to pass by these four pennies. And I can see that these pennies have been there for quite some time because they're very well worn by tracks, by cars hitting and running over them. But the value that I learned from my father was that I should always keep a positive outlook. And he has, would always say to people, listen to this floor sweeper and keep smiling. And those are some of the positive things that my father would say to people and positive lessons that I did learn from him. My father, as he got older, we could have put him in a home. We have the, we have the financial wherewithal to have him in a home. But I wanted my father to be with us. I never wanted to put him out away in a, in a home where he would be forgotten. I wanted his last years and days to be useful and productive. And they were. He was working in our barn and our shop within three days of his death. He died fairly fast. He had had a non-Hodgkin's lymphoma for over a year, a year and a half. And he had battled it. It was nothing, you know, that you would want to have, but, you know, he had it. He never once complained about it. In the last month of his life, he got a bad outbreak of the shingles where he, it just totally kept him from being movable. He, he lost the ability to walk. But yet he still came to work and still tried to do as best he could. In this video, I'm going to show you some clips of my father as he's working and as he was working here at our farm and let you hear in his words what he was doing in helping be a productive individual right up to the very end. And I hope you remember his one last parting words, which were, in fact, his last words. Keep smiling. This is our irrigation specialist, Don Hurst, at work, making up drip irrigation lines for us at here at Highland Hill Farm. Tell them what you're doing here, Pop. Just cutting them to size, uh, so that uh, uh, <coughs> they can be laid out uh, in, in, in nice order, and uh, that uh, also uh, we have a, a special device here to screw the heads on so that they don't leak. And Show them your finished product. And just, just one we finished. Make sure that we get these on correctly. The little uh, item, uh, tabs that go into the main line. Those are called the nipples. They're, they're all put on there very precisely. And then, then these are put on for the metering of the water to the plants and you can just regulate these yourself but uh, they're already set up. Are you keeping busy here, Pap? Oh lordy, I lost count now. <laughs> You're the oldest irrigation specialist in the world, aren't oh, you? Oh yes, I'm, I guess I'm the oldest of anything. <laughs> How old are you? 86. Oh my. And we keep you busy here at Highland Hill Farm, right? Well, from 7 o'clock in the morning on. Ah, you got to gotta work if you want to eat. I look like I eat a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> thank okay, you. thank you. This is Don Hurst. He's our, he's our chief painter here at Highland Hill Farm. He's going to show you how he makes these bullseyes for us. What he does is he starts off with junk pieces of cardboard. Here, pop. 
there's a piece of cardboard and he has a, a hole in the center of it and he uses a little template here to make his initial, initial circles okay there's his first circle and his second circle okay and once he has the circles in he's ready to paint this little cre creature here and what he'll do is he's got some paint and now this can be swung around the circle he can hold the brush steady and he can quickly paint round in circles nice even uniform because it's easier to hold the the brush still and move the work rather Press than it on your knee trying to freelance paint it okay and he does that till, till he has the whole object painted that's good pop that's enough okay and when this is finished you can see what it's going to look like it's going to look like that then he paints the next next color which will be the red and when he's done the red that show him what you do pop we're all finished with the red I take my target again here I'll show you this one yes put it on here that's all painted red so what I do is take this jig here <coughs> Set it back on here again. There. And then I lay my circle on there. Put this gadget on here. Put this underneath here. And that gives me my center point for center the center point. point. Very simple. And then you can paint that inner circle, right? And you can either put it, uh, get a little a tab, uh, one inch <coughs> diameter, whatever size, and, and paint it in there. Or you can just leave that in there and scribe a circle and then paint the inside of that. Right. Okay. So that's how you do it, real quick. Yeah. All right, well, thank you very much. You're welcome. And Don is also the oldest delivery driver in the world, and here at Highland Hill Farm, he does our deliveries in the summer of little lightweight plants that can be shipped all up and down the East Coast. And while you're there, if you mention that you saw him making these targets, he'll give you one. They're worth $10. If you ask first. Yeah, you have to say please. <laughs> okay. Thank you.